Hello, everyone. Um, I am Weston from um, Designs Academy. Today, what I'm going to be doing is a tutorial over how to use color corrections um, within After Effects. And so, let's begin. All right. Let me just delete these things real quick. All right. What we're going to start with is we're going to go over here, click over here in this area, and do Control Y. And this is going to, we're just going to type in BG for background. Now we're going to click and drag it under all the layers. And then we're going to click Control Alt Y like that. Create an adjustment layer. And we're going to hit enter. And it's going to make us able to type in it. We're going to type CC. All right. Now what we need to do is come over here to our plugins, um, or effects and presets, sorry. And grab Magic Bullet Lux. Awesome, right? All right. Anyways, so we're gonna grab Magic Bullet, um, drag that onto our adjustment layer, open that up, and then here we go. Magic Bullet looks right here. Now here's some of my presets that I have. I got these um, at a lot of packs, and it's pretty cool. They're all really good ones. What the heck? <laughs> that was awesome. All right. So anyways, what we're gonna start off with is go to Subject and Exposure and put the exposure down to like 0.3 or so. Like that, and then grab a gradient exposure. I'll slow down a little bit um, and drag that up here, kind of like so it's in the middle, like that. And where it says stops, make those come up a little bit, like that. So it's like one, that'd be cool. Yep, all right. So then contrast and turn up your contrast to about all right there. That looks good. It's a lot of trial and error, basically. Um, warm and cool, make this cooler, and then pop, and then we're going to make the pop about, I think it's 50%, something like that, yep, 50%, that, alright, um, next, we're just going to want to go to the mat, um, grab a star filter, turn it down a lot, like that, so that it's just basically focusing on that, and then just turn it down, um, I, don't, I won't probably, I probably won't keep that, but you know, yeah, I'm not going to keep that, it does not look good, I cannot make that look good. And then trying to see if I can make this look good. All right, yeah, I can. Like so, grab diffusion right here, and as you can see, what this thing does, it kind of adds a little glow effect. And we're gonna turn down the size. So that it's kind of focused on the size right there. And then you can mess with the gray to control how bright it is. All right, just like that, to about 2.5 for glow and 8.5 for the size. All right, and then come down here and it says cool fog. Click on that, and it gives it a really cool effect. That'll look better once you have a background. And then go here to lens. There's nothing else you need here, really. All right, anyways, go to lens and then get a big net. I don't know if that's how you say it. And then, yeah, the, the basic is just good enough, basically. Make it a little bit smaller, maybe that's it. And then, anamorphic flare. And then turn down this threshold. Turn down this like that. And then I'm gonna have to mess with the threshold again. Just like that. Alright, and then grab the edge softness effect right here. Make it a little bit larger. Um, turn down the blur. Alright, like that. 268.3. Um, 
Alright, now to camera. There's not really much to do in camera, I don't think. There's just another contrast. I think that's it. Yeah, um, that's it. Okay, and then finally the post where you add the um, S curve. If you don't have it, just make a. Um, one second. If you don't have it, just do it with a. Um, um, just do the same effect with a curves by messing with the. Show you right now. Just with the contrast one. Not as easy. That's why I approved my S curves. That. Anyways, just add another pop. And turn it on something low though, like 20. It's a very subtle effect. All right. Um, I think that concludes it for this part. All right. Now the next thing we need to, need to add is. Oh, hold on, wait. Mm. Alright, this is one of the things you gotta work on to make sure you fix so this doesn't happen. And then turn down your gradient. No, it looks good. I just gotta press around with this. Um, just like that. Alright. My bad. I have to fix that real quick. Okay. Revision plugins right here. Grab RS and MD, and you're gonna wanna drag it under the magic bullet looks and set the blur amount to 2. And that gives this little like, spinning effect right here. I'll fix this and change it later. Even though it looks cool. And then yeah, there's also, you might want to like, you might want to save these, like just selecting them like that, and then clicking right here. And then type in like CC, CC1. What I always do is I have like the CC and then I'll have a final image, like a final product CC kind of thing. And that's like just contrast basically. And I won't go over that this episode. Um, and I think that's basically it. Yeah, that's it. Other than maybe for color correction, you also may want to do this. Um, let me just adjustment layer, and then drag it below the CC once it pops in. My After Effects has been running slowly recently, so pardon that. Hey everybody, so my After Effects froze, which is awesome. But anyways, um, I'm just going to give you a little example right here with my past intro of what the CC can do. Alright, let me switch this to about half. This actually, this is one of my faster rendering intros for whatever reason, and it's completely loaded. All right, right here. It's just the magic bullet looks and the RSMB, and that's all it is. And it's that's what creates this effect right here. How this looks is the RSMB. It would look terrible without RSMB or any kind of motion blur at all. Um, and then the CC makes this little effect right here just makes it look a lot more dramatic all right and I think I've showed you guys what I wanted to show you guys thanks for watching don't forget to check out all the other videos with all the other designers and designs Academy also check out my team which is linked below I'm linked below 
Um, and then check out my videos every Thursday. And thank you guys. I'll see you later.